Hi, so uh, today I'm talking again about this video, Peripheral Vision Makes Your Eyes See Monsters. Um, in the last video, um, I talked about it in relation uh, to a strabismus update. And today I want to talk about it in relation to autism and how autistic people um, see, see faces uh, some of the time. Um, so I remember watching this program about autism. It was years and years and years ago. And um, someone was describing how they see a face. And um, they kind of managed to do a con computer sim of um, what it looked like to that person. And what they came up with was um, kind of like a sack with uh, sort of indistinct eyes and a mouth. Um, and every time it moved, it sort of lurched. Uh, so, I mean, this was kind of like the stuff of nightmares. Um, but this video did put me in mind of that. Um, so, if you haven't seen it, it gives you instructions. Um, you look at that cross and uh, that cross stays there for the whole video. So your central vision is focused on that cross. Um, so what happens is there's a couple of faces um, and I'll just rewind back a little. Okay, there we are. Um, your peripheral vision, that deals with everything above you to your sides and uh, beneath you. Um, it's like you're seeing these just out of the corner of your eye and the faces are changing um, in a sort of slideshow. They're kind of morphing. So if we move forwards a little bit, come on. There we go. You can see that that's halfway changing into something else. Um, but the, the effect is pretty similar to what um, I remember seeing on that programme. So they kind of look like, um, I know, sacks, blobby sacks with, you know, blobs here, here and here. Um, so you, you can make out a face, but it's kind of um, indistinct. And um, so if you think about it, um, you know, using your uh, peripheral vision a lot like that, and then perhaps you throw in, um, you know, earrings or jewellery or an anything that catches the light. You can imagine just how distracting that that is um, for, for someone who's um, relying more on their peripheral rather than their central vision. Uh, so anyway, that was my little thought about it. Um, if anyone does have that experience or, you know, what, whatever your experience is, I'd really love some uh, feedback on this because uh, that would be just really interesting. Uh, okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.